Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day of doing math last time. Let's look at these uh, statistical terms and let's talk about what they may mean. Mode, median, mean, and range, okay? Make sure you know these. And again, don't forget, you can, if you forget any of these, you can look in the back of your book at the glossary and they will have the definition of these terms in there. But mode looks like the word most. When you have a bunch of numbers or you know, uh, terms in a giant set, the mode is the one that ha occurs the most. And uh, easiest way probably to figure out which one of these is the mode and median and mean and range is usually to put these in descending to ascending order. Like in other words, uh, on the left, put the lowest uh, term, the lowest values and then go up to the right where it increase the value. Okay, well the most number, it looks like a two, right? One, two, three, four, five. So you would say the mode of this set is a two. The median is the number that if you put these right in order like this, smallest to largest, is the number that is exactly in the middle. And to statisticians, the median often means something interesting. It is not the average necessarily just because that number is in the middle. But the median this time, excuse me, yeah, the median this time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if you were to choose this number here, you would have five on the left, five on the right, and the number seven is the me median. The mean is another word for average. Make sure, as an educated young adult, you need to make, make sure that you know another word for average is mean, okay? The range is basically you take the smallest value and subtract it from the largest value. So the range will be 782, all right? Okay, those are the terms you need to know. All right, let's do a practical example. A mean old math teacher gave a quiz to some poor innocent students. The scores were as follows. Okay, find the mode, all right? Well, let's put these things in order. All right, let's, to make it easier for ourselves to see. So the bottom value looks like it's gonna be 26, right? Okay, and you got a math book, if it's yours, you can use a pencil and kind of do like this. You know, don't do that like you know, permanent magic marker or anything. Okay, 26, and then the next one is gonna be 30. And then looks like 34. And let's speed this up a little bit. Let's see here, 40, there's a 40. And, oop, there's another 40, so two 40s. All right, 43 looks next. Oop, nope, 42. So we got 42 and then 43. So, oop, and then, got it, and then 47, then 48, and then 50, oh, there's another 50. And then the last one's 55, right? You might just want to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, yeah, so we got it. Okay, now the mode, which one occurs the most? Look there, there's two 40s and there's also two 50s. So you would have to say that the mode is both of those. It's 40 and 50, okay? And the next question is what's the median? Now this is where it gets a little weird. And the last one we saw, we had 11 an odd number of numbers. So we can tell that there will be an even number on both sides and we could just pick the one in the middle. There are, however, 12 numbers in this set, which means if you do one, two, three, four, five, six, that's right down the middle right there. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to pick both of these numbers in the middle. So if you do that, look to the right, one, two, three, four, five to the right, and then one, two, three, four, five to the left. Okay, so what you're gonna to have to do to find the mo, uh, excuse me, this is, no, we're on median now. The median number is the one right in the middle. Well, right in the middle of 42 and 43, we would say the answer is 42.5, that's your median, okay. Now they're wanting, oh, we did that one, mean. I'm not gonna to bother to do this, but you know how to find mean, which is the same thing as average. Okay, you add all 12 of those up and then do is divide by 12. I'm not gonna to bother to get into the arithmetic of that right now. You can do that on your own. That's how you find the median, excuse me, the mean, average. Mean is the same thing as average. Range, it's a piece of cake. 55 is the largest, 26 is the smallest. Subtract those two, 29, that's your range. Okay, all right, skip all those. All right, let's do another one, a very practical one. Lawrence, Moe, and Curly measured three times and got different answers. And there are their answers. Give the mean 
of their measurements. Now, mean is another word for what? Average. Okay, so not going to do the arithmetic here. You just take all three of those, divide, you know, add them together, then divide by three. Now, make sure you should not get an answer that is smaller than this because that's the smallest um, value. You should also not get a number that is larger than this because that's the largest value. It's going to be somewhere right around four meters. Okay. All right. Let's look at another one. Flanagan thought 41.802 happy thoughts while doing his algebra one half. Henrietta thought 37.408 happy thoughts. What was the mean of their numbers of happy thoughts? And again, we won't bother to do this. How do you find the mean? What's the mean another word for? I'll give you a hint. I'm not going to give it away, but I mean, mean is the same thing as something. I'll give you a little bit of it here. Here, if you just connect the dots there. Now, oh, yeah, that's it. Average. Okay. Yeah, you, got you. You, you did good on that one. That was good. Okay. All right, here's, here's, here's a, another type of problem. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. It's, uh, we've done like this before, though. In the past, if you remember, look at this. The three little pigs' mean weight was 320 pounds. So mean means average. Okay, so if there were three of them and their average weight is 320 pounds, how much do they weigh all together? What do you have to do to calculate how much they weigh all together? You multiply it, right? Three times 320 pounds. That's how much they weigh all together. The first was 220. The second was 240. How much was the third one? Well, we know 320 times 3 is 960. If this is 220, this one's 240, that's going to be 460 together, right? So what do we need to do to find the third pig's weight? Subtraction, right? Subtract it, you get 500, and that's, that's a big little pig. Okay, lots of crispy bacon, everybody. Okay. All right. Go ahead and try on page 88, practice problem A. Practice problem A and then unpause it when you're ready. Okay, well let's look at this together. We got range, mode, median, and mean of all those numbers. Let's go ahead and put those in order. So we got a two, we got a four, we got another four, we got a five, we got a six, we got an eight, and we got a nine, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's right. Okay, so first off, let's do mode. Looks like mode is four. Mode, there are the most. The median, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is an odd number, so the one right in the middle, that's the median. The mean, I'm not going to bother to do. You know what? Well, there's seven numbers. I can do this. Okay, two plus four plus four is 10, 15, 21, uh, 29, 38. Let me try that again. 17, 23, yeah, 38. So 38 divided by 7, you will find, is 5.4. We'll call it, well, it's 4, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, and 1. I'm repeating, but let's just say 5.4. Okay, good enough. Okay. The range will be 9 minus 2 or 7. Okay, all right, pause it and try B. Okay, well, they're telling you the mean height of all three buildings was 430, which means all together, those buildings, the height was 1,290 feet. They tell you one of them is 420. They tell you the other one is 380. That gives us 800 altogether. We're going to take the 800, subtract it from 1290, and get 490 for the third building. Okay, all right, that is it. For today, see you guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Do a good job on your practice problems today.